Hey everyone, welcome back. In this video, we are talking about Cisco's DNA Center, or just DNAC for short. What it actually stands for is digital network architecture. The idea that we can take the, the network that we're so used to configuring by hand and we can make it digital. In other words, we can take it and we can have it more automated using a, a Cisco controller. Before I really get into that though, I wanna show you, this is a base configuration of a switch. I've just loaded up a virtual switch in my lab and you can see here I just did the show run command. I'm gonna do it again, I'm just gonna say show run. What I want the switch to do is show me the active running configuration that it currently has. And these are the options, the default options that this particular switch comes with. You can see that it's not much, right? It, it doesn't really have a lot. If you contrast that, in fact, let me say show VLAN brief. Um, we don't need to go into what VLANs are if you don't know already, that's okay. They're, they're virtual networks, right? Instead of me having three different switches for three different things, I just have three virtual networks on one switch and each one of those comes back to what we would call a VLAN or virtual local area network. Now you can see here that I only have one VLAN, right? That's it. If you contrast that to a production switch that I have, let me log into one. I'm not gonna show you the full running config because there's a lot of stuff on there that I don't want you to see. I'm gonna say show VLAN brief, and I'm gonna hit enter, and you can see here that I have a pretty good sized chunk of VLANs. It's probably 20 or 25 or so. And what's interesting is, remember, this is just a lab. In real life, you're gonna see a couple thousand VLANs, and this is gonna be spread across your entire infrastructure. You're gonna to have to manage each one of those networks. You're gonna to have to manage each one of those VLANs. You, as a network admin, are gonna to have to physically log into each one of these switches, and you're gonna to have to configure those VLANs. Same thing with IP addresses and interfaces and things like that. You're going to have to configure each one of these on your own. And now we go back to why would we have Cisco DNA Center? Why would it be something that we would want to use? Well, first of all, it is a hardware controller that you are going to put probably back in your data center. So when you think about your network architecture, you're going to have typically your campus network, uh, that could be your office buildings, that could be, you know, again, in a college, each one of those buildings have their own network, and then you have, you know, outside Wi-Fi for the students to walk across. Then you're going to have what you would consider your data center. That's, a, that's the, the locked room that's cooled and has a bunch of fans running somewhere in your... Uh, Somewhere in your building, somewhere in your office, somewhere it could be a remote data center, could be cloud, but that's a conversation for another day. You're gonna have a data center somewhere that hosts servers and appliances like this, web servers, email servers, things like that. So this is a physical hardware appliance that you are going to have to buy from Cisco. And the level of appliance that you buy is going to come back to, well, you know, how much stuff are you going to put on it, right? What it's it's just like it's just like specking out. Uh, a desktop or any other server, right? How many network nodes are we gonna add to this thing? How big is your network? How many of these, these hardware appliances are we going to need? The whole idea is that rather than you logging into each individual network node by yourself, rather than you logging into each and every single switch and saying, okay, I need these 10 or 2000 VLANs, here's all the interfaces, here's everything that we're going to have set up. What I want to do is I want to automate this entire setup with a network-based controller. So what this controller is going to do is now essentially automate everything in your network. So it's going to allow you to design your network. It's gonna allow you to decide, okay, where do you want certain VLANs? On which switches do you want them? It's gonna allow you to automatically provision those switches and bring them up the way that you want. So you can have a switch template, if you will, and in that switch template, you might have you know, some default usernames and passwords. You're gonna have some interfaces that you configure. Uh, you're gonna have options, security options that you configure. You're gonna have performance options that you configure. You're gonna have all of that stuff that you would normally copy and paste into a switch manually by yourself, but you're gonna automate this process and automate this entire provisioning of that switch. So once it comes up, you're gonna, you're gonna connect it into DNA Center. DNA Center, that appliance is gonna do the rest for you. You're not gonna have to go and paste those commands on every single switch. You do it once in a DNA center, you give it your template and, and it moves on. So same thing with management of your network. So when you think about the things that you have to do on your network, right? Uh, let's just take simple operating system upgrades, right? OS upgrades. Your switch, believe it or not, every device in your network, every switch in your network, and I'm just picking on switches here to make it easier for you to understand. Every switch in your network is going to have an operating system, right? It's a, it's a, it's a Unix-based operating system, but still it's an operating system. And, and like any operating system, there's gonna be bug fixes, there's gonna be feature updates, there's gonna be all that kind of stuff. So 
without something like DNA Center, if you have 100 switches, you as a network admin have to log into each switch and upgrade it manually by hand. Whereas DNA Center is going to have all of those switches as members, it's going to have all those switches listed, and you can kick off an upgrade right from DNA Center rather than you having to go to each individual switch and do it manually. Of course, if something doesn't work, you may have to troubleshoot it from the switch, but that's another thing that DNA Center offers. Not just troubleshooting the device itself, but troubleshooting the network, right? Let's just say that you have a user on one end of your network that's not able to get to the other end of the network. As long as all of those network appliances in the middle are added to DNA Center, Center, as long as those routers, switches, etc., are added to DNA Center, you can troubleshoot that problem most of the time within DNA Center and try and figure out, okay, is there an access list somewhere that's preventing this? Is there a misconfiguration somewhere that's not that's not allowing you know that particular user that's coming in from the wireless network to kind of jump over to this other network over here? So you can do all of that stuff from within DNA Center, and then last and finally certainly not least, is the analytical part of DNA Center. Uh, the ability to use DNA Center to actually see the bandwidth, the usage, what things are doing on your network. DNA Center offers a pretty good level of visibility into what your campus network is actually doing, not only from a user perspective and a, and a, and a user device perspective, but from a network performance perspective. So if I want to see if a switch or a router is overloaded, maybe there's some interfaces on there that, that, are, that are no longer uh, suitable for the amount of traffic that we're that we're trying to pass through our network I can use this not only for troubleshooting but analysis as well and say hey in the next year we're probably going to want to upgrade that device because it's nearing capacity so so Cisco DNA Center is a is an appliance that offers all of this from a GUI from a graphical user interface the ability to go in and as a human being, not necessarily have to learn thousands upon thousands of commands like I had to do. You know, you go in and you just look for the option that you want and essentially you check the box. You still have to understand what you're checking. You still have to understand what those features are doing. DNA Center has its own level of training that, believe me, is very in-depth. Um, it's just as hard as learning the thousands of commands. It's just learning where that command is in a user interface using the mouse to get there rather than actually typing out a command. So this is the purpose of DNA Center, this is why Cisco sells it. And before you just go and jump in and say, hey boss, we should get DNA Center, um, you also have to understand that there is a certain level of licensing that comes along with this. You just can't go buy a DNA Center appliance, put it in your network and you know it works. The devices that you have on your network, your routers, your switches, they have to be at a certain level of, of hardware revision. They also have to be at a certain level of code operating system in order to connect into DNA Center. And then lastly, they have to have a certain license. You just can't go buy any switch, you just can't go buy a device from eBay and connect it in a DNA Center. You need to have a certain level of, again, of hardware, software, and licensing in order to plug it into or essentially connect it to your DNA Center appliance. Obviously, you need the DNA Center appliance, the DNAC appliance uh, itself, or you, you, you may need a few of them for, for hardware and failover. So this is what DNA Center offers in a network. This is why we use it, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.